Ahoy, Salty Dogs! My name is Lenscap, and welcome to Project Titan. In this series, we are building a Titan-class ship. But Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will be our Titan. Uh, we plan on starting small and working our way up to something gargantuan and fantastic. Uh, <laughs> I've been working on both uh, YouTube videos and live streams for this project. These projects? We'll call it one major project, but subdivided into... It doesn't matter. <laughs> for Project Titan. And um, in our, uh, our... What am I doing in our Twitch stream this week... Um, we worked a little bit further on the Shiv class, which is the fighter that we built in our previous episode. Um, so we did a quick, uh, why is that not spinning? Both spin, please. Thank you. <laughs> we did a quick combat test of the ship, uh, decided it kind of sucked, and, uh, so we reworked, uh, a couple things about it, um, of course, you can always check the stream archive, twitchtv.com slash lenscap, if you want to learn more about that. For today, I think we're going to start on another new ship. Um, this is going to be the largest ship yet in our fleet, and I think we're going to continue this trend of the largest ship yet in our fleet, uh, each ship we start. Um, so this is our fighter. I went ahead and put it in the lineup with the rest of the ships so we can kind of get an idea for, you know, what our, what our fleet looks like currently. And, um, this ship we're going to retire. So I could actually move it out of the lineup probably. Uh, but anyway, today we're going to start on a, on a much more massive ship. As far as scale goes, uh, think about probably three times the size of this one. Um, at least I really am not sure yet. Um, but I know we're going to start on something bigger. Call it a frigate. Call it a destroyer. I, I don't know yet, but it's going to be a bigger ship. Um, with any ship I like to build, I like to start with the bridge. So I think that's what our focus of this episode is going to be, putting together the bridge uh, for our next ship. And uh, we'll probably make it a multi-episode, uh, like a multi-episodic uh, kind of building experience. Uh, for this next one, um, because it is going to be such a large project. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of layout stuff, and when we come back, I'll show you some stuff. I've got a bit of a layout uh, down. I think this is cool. Um, for me, it's important to have a good view from the ship core. So here's our view, and I think this is going to be decent. Um, we can see our our bridge on this ship is definitely a different size than and a different like shape or or different kind of layout than any of the other um kind of ships we've done so far. So this is going to be a pretty different ship and I think that's good. That's going to be something we like um and something we're going to use for this fleet. Obviously, we don't want everything to be exactly the same. That doesn't make any sense, right? So I've got four spots for where I want stations uh within the bridge. So we'll have four people on the command deck. Um, that means we need yeah, at least seven beds. So I assumed, I figured this would be captain's station. Uh, and then we're going to need someone at the helm. Um, we're going to need a navigator and a gunner, like a gunnery officer. So um, those are our four stations in here. We can have two helmsmen um, as crew on the ship, but only one active at a time, obviously. So the work in rotating shifts. And uh, yeah, so that kind of makes sense. Um, I, I think this is an interesting layout. It's got a little bit of depth to it. I think we can add a little bit more, though, um, pretty simply here. And I think the way we can accomplish that is by sinking uh, these first two stations in the floor a little bit further. Um, right now, I'm not sure where the doors are going to go. Uh, probably like here on either side. Maybe we'll just have one door. That could be interesting. Um, I do see this bridge on the top of the ship, maybe two-thirds of the way back. So that's going to be probably where this sits. Um, I had considered putting our bridge on the bottom as well, because you don't really see that a lot. Maybe we'll save that for another uh, ship, though. So I think let's drop these two stations down a little bit. We'll get a little bit of decoration going on as well. 
Um, I have been using half slabs, call it, for uh, stairs at this point. So I think let's go ahead and just cut out the floors here because um, we're not going to use this. Oh, we should turn on a symmetry mode as well. Cool, so let's do that, and we'll just cut away the same on this side as we did on the other side. So how how deep do we need to go with this? Uh, we don't have to go super deep um, with this. In fact, let's cut these all the way back maybe to here, and we'll put a full block here um, to, to help with the steps feeling. So if we do our half slabs, now I don't think star made characters can actually walk up uh, half slabs like this. But, uh, but we'll see. So this row is going to be a full block, and then we'll have another thing of stairs. And those are on the bottom half, so I think that's probably fine for doing our floor at this height. I think that'll be reasonable. That gives us a little bit more depth um, in the bridge and makes our bridge a little bit bigger. It'll uh, descend further into the ship, which is fine. We'll put the helmsman where he could potentially see out the window. So this will be helmsman. Yeah, I think that's good. And then the captain sits up here, and he's got an even better view of you know left and right as well. Um, but I think this is a cool look uh, for our ship so far. Okay, so let's... Let's do some things. Let's kind of get this laid out as we want. And we'll just throw a couple of blocks in here to fill out the walls and stuff for this portion. I'm not worried about decoration just yet, although that is on my mind at this point. Um, so I am I'm pretty I pretty I generally like to do like one pass or fewer <laughs> or fewer is that possible uh one pass on uh on our decoration so i'm not huge on um like doing a layout and then refining and then refining again and then refining again and then refining again etc 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 um i know some people build that way i just don't i usually get it all at once um but what i'll do first is is kind of get our shape in um for the shape we want and then work off of that all right, so getting our shape in here. Let's put in the floor and then see how we feel about it. Uh, I think this is going to work out pretty well. Yeah, it's looking good. It's at least a decent start. And then we'll throw in like wedges and stuff as we need them. Um, again, this is pretty rough at this point, so we're not quite to where, you know, we can actually flesh out everything just yet. Uh, but we're going to get pretty close today. At least in the bridge. That was the plan for this episode, was to get our bridge going. Yeah, I think that's going to look better. That gives us a little bit more, like, um, of an area to work with, and it, and it adds some depth to our to our bridge. I think that's good. Cool, so let's refine these stations a little bit um, here. We can actually go ahead and do these wedges, because I know we're going to want wedges here. I don't know that we're going to want dark gray, but we'll go ahead and fill them out, and that lets us remove these uh, superfluous blocks. Cool. Uh, okay, so let's start with the captain's spot. Um, the captain is going to need a fancy chair. Um, captains always need good chairs what just happened how did this happen look at these blocks why are they like that what did i hit to do that whoa why is everything weird like that that's crazy i have no idea what i did to make that happen oh wow the core is all screwed up everything just screwed up uh, hold on. I'm gonna re-log and see if that fixes this. This is bizarre. I have never seen this happen before. It looks like the texture is all just kind of 45 angled on me or something. Weird. 
Oh man, okay, I'm just briefly going to note that it took me five hours to fix that, <laughs> that problem. Um, anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, so let's start with the captain. I think we were doing his chair. Um, if we do a chair, and I like to do a couple different captain's chairs. Let's actually move this back a little bit. But I think most commonly... Uh, a good captain's chair is like arms like this and then we can put it back on it like that I think that's a pretty good captain's chair um, we probably I don't know about chairs for the other guys yet um, okay so let's think what else does the captain need um, up here let's give him some let's give him some consoles um, we want to be able to access the core so we don't want to block that Let's see, what else? Maybe he needs some charts or something. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm I'm cool with that. Okay, and we can put let's let's put a rail around here. We don't want our captain falling off the edge. Um, we'll use a different rail there. Um, let's make you know I had a cool idea for the um, entrance to this while I was working on the uh, uh, trying to fix that weird graphical bug. Yeah, I ended up having to do a lot of work to fix that. Like I said, it took me several hours. Um, it, I'm not entirely sure exactly what fixed it, so if you experience that, you're on your own, homie. Uh, <laughs> I ended up having to like reinstall StarMade and delete a bunch of files and, and replace them with a bunch of other files, and yeah, it was a mess. So I think what would be cool is if we used the underneath of the captain's booth and hid like like a bunch of server racks or something in there. Um, kind of like this. I think that would be a cool effect. And we can use the metal grill to kind of hide them a little bit. Um, for here... I was thinking we do, let's see, what if we did, we could still do server racks here, here, and here. Um, for here, let's add a different block, though, like the fans. And let's put some, let's use rail mass enhancers as well. Uh, we'll replace the red block for now. And uh, we'll put those here. I was thinking it might be cool to have some pipes going up like that and then we can hide those behind grates i mean it's not important that you hide everything in a build like this but i think it i think it looks good um like that so that's almost too many grates right next to each other so maybe we leave those exposed yeah that's pretty good i think we can get away with that um so what do we need to do about this corner anything i think it's okay honestly i don't think it needs anything extra there I do like the little touch that those things add. Let's see, we don't need those blocks at all. Or, no, we do need those, so those have to stay. Alright, so I like that little touch. Uh, we'll probably do another pass. In fact, let's go ahead and do it. Let's add some gray, some regular gray, uh, just to have a different color. We kind of like to keep, um, to keep our build a little bit industrial, so the grays generally kind of stick with a more industrial feeling kind of theme. Um, we may not do the whole thing in light gray, though. Like, just a stripe like that could work. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, that, that gives us enough of a variance. Maybe we do the stripe of light gray at the bottom as well. Yeah, there we go. And then it kind of accentuates or, or sets off um, the captain's area from the rest. Um, you know what? We could even do these like that. Is that too much? I don't think that's too much. I think that looks good. I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's give the captain maybe a ladder um, up to his spot there, I guess. We'll call that a ladder <laughs> and uh, and use that to get up here. I don't know what the back of the room is going to look like. We'll, we'll get to that eventually. All right, so the next spot is the helmsman. So the helmsman uh, is definitely going to need to face this direction a lot of the time. 
Um, but I also want to give him several, like, things to look at and, and interact with. They don't actually have to function as anything, but uh, just, you know, it has to look like he's busy all the time, whether he um, actually does anything or not. That's one of the <laughs> one of the tenets of design is uh, make it at least look active. Um, what else? Oh, I moved these stairs a little bit. I thought they fit better here. Um, I just moved them forward two blocks. Okay, I, I like that. I like that. Let's throw some more railings in. Um, just because I feel like you can't do the railings too much. We need them all to be kind of like this, though. I think that looks good. And we need something to set this area off as well. So maybe we do the light gray for this also. We can run it back to the stairs. Um, you know what? We could do this. Here, let's undo some, actually. Oh, no, I went the wrong way with that. Okay. We'll get our dark gray out. And there we go. That'll give kind of a place to stand and uh, kind of build like a flow for this uh, station. Um, so maybe we even have two people standing there. Who knows? I think it looks cool. Um, I think that works out all right. So let's put in these wedges and maybe work on these two stations. They'll probably... Uh, let, actually, let's throw in another bit of color here. I think we'll do light gray from here. I think this will fit and kind of break it up a little bit. Kind of the opposite of the captain's. Um, the kind of, yeah, kind of the opposite of the captain's area. I was thinking maybe our entrance to the bridge is actually right here. So that adds another uh, layer of depth even. And we can we can do our steps like we were doing um, before as well. And I think that'll work out like this. Maybe it's just one step. One step down there. Yeah, I think that's going to work okay. And uh, we'll work out a door entrance kind of thing. We're definitely got to do a rail door. So we'll figure that out uh, later, maybe. But I think that would be a good spot for our entrance into the bridge. And then the captain has to walk the farthest, but that means he has to wave at everybody as he gets there. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Um, okay, so what do we do for these two stations? Um, now they need to be... Let's see, they need some stuff too. So maybe we can do something like a center... Uh, like access thing like this. And set it off with a mass enhancer at the end. And uh, then we can throw some pipes in. I'm just trying to brainstorm something that maybe would look kind of cool. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is supposed to be or what it's for, but uh, it's it's there. And then, so we need some decorative blocks here for the pipes to link into. We can use, I like to put the pipes into mass enhancers so it seems like they're doing something. Um, what else could we add to this to make it a little bit more interesting? Because it's not really that interesting right now. What if we just, like, cap it with a grate, maybe? Is it too close to the stairs then, though? Maybe we shorten it by a block, I think. Let's see if we like that as much. Um, I still think capping it with a grate is a good, is a good choice. Okay, let's get these pipes in the right orientation. Um, I'm not sold on this grate, honestly. Maybe we need a fan. Here. And then we can cap it with the grate, so it looks like the grate is doing something. Protecting us from the fan, maybe? Let's turn off our HUD so we can get a look. So if that's the first thing you see when you come into the bridge, that's not a great view, is it? We gotta spruce this up for sure. Okay, let's turn the HUD back on and, uh, and see if we can't clean this up a little bit. Maybe we throw some servers in. 
like that. Yeah, I don't know. It needs something. It needs something to keep it from looking so flat. I don't think the servers are the right answer. Um, maybe we'll come back to that. Maybe the girders or something. Uh, that could work if we do like some kind of paneling. Like this. And then we can... Uh, okay. Let's try this then. Let's maybe do some weird asim stuff like this. How's that? That one can be symmetric. Yeah, that helps a little bit. I'm still not sold on this idea. It needs more. It needs more things. So let's try... Let's put some gray under the pipes. Like this. We can turn our symmetry back on, I think. Oh, I got rid of a pipe. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we can try that. That adds a little bit. Let's even do uh, this line as well then. That'll kind of tie that off. Yeah, I think that helped some. I don't I'm still not sold on these uh, on these server racks back there. Maybe we need something else. Let's just do all the all of the girder panels for now and, and we'll come back to that because I'm not sure what I want to do there. Okay, these two stations. Um, you know, maybe they're facing this central area, and that's what the pipes are for. So instead of facing forward, maybe they face like this. Maybe that's what those pipes are all about. That, okay, I like that a little bit better. That's, that's kind of, that's fixing it. And so we can add in some more interesting blocks, uh, like the charts. Like that kind of fits, and we'll put another console in, maybe facing this way. To give them a little bit more going on. Um, we can even throw a console here. And let's put in a server rack here. How's that? That way it feels more like a, like a station in a, in a spaceship. Which it is. So um, I don't really like that you can see the top of this though. Or that you can only see part of it. So what can we do to kind of cover that up? I mean... We can use, there's not really a block that that does that, is there? It kind of, maybe one of these. Oh, facing the other way, though. Hmm, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Unless we do it here, too. And then, like, it doesn't really seem to do anything if we do that. What else can we add? Like, I'm always a fan of putting in more pipes. Um, that kind of blocks our view of the... of the two, like, stations we just put in. But maybe that's what it needs. And then we can use our T-junction here. If we can get it oriented right. God, this is weird. Okay, and we'll put another T-junction here. And, uh, okay, let's take a look at it again. Take a step back. Okay, that's good. That's getting there. That's starting to get there. And that actually really cleans up a couple of the things I didn't like before. Um, okay, so maybe we should do the same... Uh, with these guys, too, then. Hmm. Maybe not, though. Because that wasn't bothering me too much. Um, that one. It was just the charts that were. So I think we'll leave that. We could also... Yeah, I kind of like that they're standing under the pipes, these guys. So that... Maybe that's our air, air filtration system uh, for part of this, and... And here's the air filtration system back here, and who knows, maybe it's all over the place. Um, I like that as an idea. Okay, this is going to need a little bit more refinement, though, so... Maybe some more of this light gray in places. But I think this is a pretty good start. This is a pretty good start on, uh, on our bridge. I'm going to work on this a little bit more, and uh, maybe clean some more stuff. 
Um, I'll show you what I finished up, and then we'll probably call the episode at that point. All right, so I've done a little bit of editing, just cleaned up a few things, but I figured we'd, like, astronaut mode, walk around, and, uh, and see what she looks like. So this is the doorway, and I think it turned out pretty good, actually. Yeah, we can't walk up this. we got to jump, so... Come on, Star Maid, can't you give us stairs? That'd be amazing. Okay, so, uh... Two stations, they're symmetric and identical. Got some lights. I moved the pipes back a little bit. I just felt like they were a little bit more out of the way. Um, but, I mean, it's just there for looks, honestly. So, <laughs> um, threw in some accent color. We're going to use orange. Of course, it matches our fleet color. So, we're doing orange as our accent. I really like the way that this looks, actually. This turned out pretty cool. Um, I think, anyway. I think it turned out cool. So as we turn around, we go up the stairs, and both sides are the same. Um, there's uh, like a pipe back here that's kind of set into the wall. The purpose of this is just to break up the wall a little bit so it's not like a flat gray um, color. Give it a little bit of depth. Uh, so we've got some depth in there. I like that. Um, a little bit more of our accent color as well. Um, so that, that works out pretty well. This spot up here, this is actually the most boring station um, in the bridge right now because it doesn't have anything really going on. But I, I don't want to put anything like over because I don't want to block the captain's view either. So that's something we might have to revisit. Maybe some pipes that connect to that pipe. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm, I'm cool with it for now. Um, okay, so that's this one. We got this neat view back here. And I uh, got a light there. There's a couple lights scattered around, so it's not super dark. Um, it's not a hospital, though, so we don't need, like, a million lights everywhere. Just uh, just enough to keep it, you know, uh, uh, illuminated. Uh, maybe we'll throw in a red alert system. That could be kind of cool if we have, like, a, like a red light um, that changes out. Okay, so up this ladder to the captain's quarters. Quarters? No, just a chair. Um... Here we are, we can sit in the chair. I have my key binding for T on the chairs, which uh, if I turn off my HUD, pulls up the radio menu if I have a, like this radio menu, <laughs> which uh, whatever, it's fine. You just hit escape to get rid of it. And here's our view from the captain's chair. It's not as, it's not as awesome as I wanted it to be, to be honest. It, it, it works though, it's not bad. And then uh, if we hop into the core, in, uh, in flight mode, then we get a pretty decent view um, out the windows and stuff. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Lens Cap uh, once again. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned.